So today I am going to install these flex wings on my new kayak. Oh, you have no idea I have a new kayak. Check this out. So now we're going to install the wings on the bona fide kayak. Okay, so I have the kayak turned upside down. And these are the skid plates, which these plates here are sacrificial, meaning these are going to take any abuse if you're dragging this. So that's why they're called skid plates. And these can get replaced. If they get wore down to the point where they're close to the actual plastic on this boat, then you replace them. So let's start with putting the wings on. And the orientation of this is going to be just like this. Okay. So let's take off the skid plates. They come off very easily. Okay, so now we got these off. I'm going to use some uh, Never Seize. And in the package they give you, it comes with longer screws. I think they're longer. Yeah, they're longer. And I'm going to put some Never Seize on here. The reason for that is that sometime in the future I'm probably going to be back here either replacing the skid plates um, because of the one out or if I happen to break one of these. So they go on just like this. You can see that the writing faces up. Line your holes up like so. This goes on like that. And I got some never sees on the screw. Get it in there, start it. Now, the, re the other re reason for using this Never Seize is that um, this is the stainless steel bolt going into going into a bronze fitting. So um, I don't know if there's going to be some type of reaction between the metals that may corrode it. So this is going to help prevent that as well. This is not a glue. What this is meant to do is just to make it so this will come off in the future easily without being bonded uh, or corroded on. I mean, you know, this boat is going to be in the water. So you want to make sure that uh, if, if there's any corrosion on it, that it'll come off, especially if you're in salt water. Salt water is really tough on stainless even though it's stainless a lot of times it's still you know it's, 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 it's still gonna rust it's still gonna corrode much so as you can see it's very simple Again, yes. I'm just lining up the holes And um, you notice I'm using a screwdriver. And the reason for the screwdriver is I don't want to strip out these bronze inserts. And I'm just going to snug them up. I'm not going to go crazy. You no, know, I mean, they are just bronze inserts going into plastic. And um, this uh, never sees. I actually got this at um, AutoZone. So you can get it at any auto place. I'm sure that Home Depot sells it. I 
Like I said, I'm not going gorilla tight with these things. I'm just snugging them up. Wipe this crump crap off and I'll toss all this. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That, that's an easy install. And you don't have to use the, the, the never sees, it's up to you. Like I said, I'm just doing it as a precaution. So this should work pretty good now. The, the, the purpose of these flex wings is to keep the stern of the boat straight. So if, if, if it starts kicking out like this or like this, these wings are going to catch the water and they're going to act like a rudder. So that's the whole purpose of these flex wings is to keep this boat true and straight in the water. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I fished all last year in a feel free lure that did not have a rudder, didn't have anything like this. So um, the back end of that boat would kick out and slide out at the end of a paddle stroke. I, all these big boats do that. That's just the nature of these of these boats. Um, so this is going to stop that from happening. So yeah, it was a very easy install and thanks for watching.